Turtle trouble, a reptile ending up in the jaws of a predator, a shark strike causing shell shock. Well, veterinarians gave the loggerheads some urgently needed care. Seven's Jeff Lennox is in the plex to show us, Jeff. They sure did, Craig and Belkies. The grand opening of Zoo Miami's new sea turtle hospital isn't until next week, but they had to get to work a little bit early here. This is Baymax, a nearly 400-pound sea turtle rushed to the new Zoo Miami Sea Turtle Hospital. The female sea turtle was rescued from the Port St. Lucie power plant with several injuries, including an apparent shark bite. She was transported to us from the Loggerhead Marine Life Center ambulance. And when she came to us, she was um, alert and she's in great body condition. Um, she just had this open wound uh, that needed surgical attention. After closer examination, it was discovered she was pregnant. On Monday, the turtle was successfully transported from a special recovery center to a sand fill pin in hopes of depositing the eggs. Slowly, she released um, over that day probably about close to 100 eggs. All the eggs were collected, and we are working closely with the Miami Dade Parks um, Sea Turtle Conservation program uh, that does all the beach surveys. So they've been coming daily to take the eggs to make a uh, man-made nest at the beach. So in hopes that all these little eggs might actually hatch out. Officials prepare Baymax for surgery with the purpose of removing the damaged bone and providing the 50 year old reptile with a path toward recovery. After several hours of surgery, it was a big success. Baymax will be transferred back to her tank and watched closely in the upcoming weeks ahead. With Baymax being the first sea turtle admitted into the new hospital, it only grows the excitement they have to start treating the animals. So we're really excited to be able to uh, be a sea turtle hospital here in Miami-Dade County because there are not many. There are a few to the north of us and to the south of us, um, but in this uh, area of Florida, uh, there's need for a sea turtle hospital. So we're excited to be able to fill that void. Turtle, Baymax, in good hands right there. Well, the hospital has not had its ribbon cutting just yet. It's coming up next week, but already it's passed all the inspections and had its permits in order to help that turtle. Live in the Plex, Jeff on X7 News.